Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Japanese ambassador to Bahrain Hideki Ito and a delegation from the Japanese Hiroshima Peace Culture Foundation headed by Mishimu Omimoto and the Foundation Secretary General Takinori Takayama. The Foundation delegation presented to His Majesty the Hiroshima Peace Stone in appreciation for His Majesty's pioneering efforts in promoting the values of peace and coexistence. His Majesty welcomed the ambassador and the Foundation's delegation, hailing the efforts in spreading peace and coexistence in the world. His Majesty expressed pride in the Bahraini-Japanese relations and the development, historic cooperation and joint work witnessed in many fields in light of the mutual endeavor to achieve the two countries' interests. His Majesty asserted that Bahrain takes pride in its status and a pioneering role in promoting moderation, coexistence and enhancing communication between various cultures and religions, expressing the kingdom's continuous keenness on supporting all international efforts and endeavors to promote peace, security and stability as they represent the basis for humanity to achieve further advancement and prosperity. His Majesty the King hailed the Japanese successful experience in various economic, industrial and developmental fields, noting its important contributions to establishing the pillars of security and peace at the global level. He commended the Japanese heritage and civilization expressing thanks and appreciation for the gift he received. The Foundation's delegation briefed His Majesty on the stone, which is presented to senior world leaders who promote peace and stability and spread the principles of tolerance. They also presented His Majesty with a certificate that contains the peace treaty from Hiroshima. For their part, the Foundation's president and members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, hailing the efforts of Bahrain, led by His Majesty and its constructive contributions to serving peace, causing at the regional and global levels, wishing Bahrain and its people further development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Dean of St. Christopher's Cathedral and Awali Anglican Church, the very Reverend Christopher Bott, and the Ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain, Simon Martin, to greet His Majesty on the occasion of the end of the very Reverend's dinner in Bahrain. During the meeting, His Majesty the King welcomed the very Reverend, expressing appreciation for his efforts and humanitarian contributions during his tenancy. His Majesty praised the role of St. Christopher cathedral and other churches in Bahrain in promoting the values of coexistence and religious tolerance. He also praised the historical relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom in all fields and the development they witness. His Majesty asserted Bahrain's pride to embrace different religions and cultures within a society based on brotherly cohesion, which is a result of the awareness of its people and its belief in humanitarian principles, wishing the very reverend further success. For his part, the very reverend expressed thanks and appreciation for the fruitful cooperation he received and for the appreciation and care people of different religions receive in Bahrain. He also praised the values of tolerance, coexistence and openness of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the UAE Ambassador Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan Al Nahyan at Qudaybiyah Palace today, where His Royal Highness discussed Bahraini Emirati relations as well as the ways in which they can be further developed. His Royal Highness praised the bilateral relations of the two countries that he said are based on the long standing principles of mutual empathy and understanding, and affirmed that these relations have become a role model for others to follow, thanks to the efforts of the leadership 
partnerships of the two countries to maintain and deepen these relations in the interest of serving their common aspirations and interests. His Royal Highness also praised the positions that the UEE has taken towards Bahrain, which he said reflect its absolute faith in the common objectives and destinies of the two countries. His Royal Highness then referred to the UEE's development and progress in various fields, which he said are the fruits of the efforts and vision of its leadership. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his support and keen interest in deepening Bahraini-Emirati relations. He said that he looks forward to developing the bilateral relations further to serve common interests. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at his palace in Rafah a Thai commercial delegation of senior Thai companies specialized in a number of commercial activities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the kingdom's keenness on developing bilateral relations with Thailand through increasing investment opportunities in the two countries to achieve the aspirations of their peoples. His Royal Highness noted that the historical relations between Bahrain and Thailand are solidly based on understanding and mutual mutual desire to establish the basis of a constructive cooperation that serves mutual interests. His Royal Highness welcomed the Thai delegation's visits, which will contribute to bolstering bilateral cooperation and establishing further economic and commercial partnerships. He asserted the importance of these visits and meetings between officials and business sectors in the two countries as an opportunity to discuss bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness also noted the importance of the role of the private sector and businessmen in the country in developing bilateral cooperation, especially in the commercial and investment fields, highlighting the importance of further activating bilateral agreements and memoranda of understanding in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted that Bahrain and Thailand's promising investment opportunities features will contribute to bolstering cooperation. His Royal Highness asserted that the investment environment in Bahrain is characterized with flexibility and and openness, which represent an incentive for further investment cooperation with Thailand, especially in the fields of industry, food security, tourism and technology. For their part, the delegation members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support to bolstering cooperation between the two countries, stressing that His Royal Highness's support left a clear impact on Bahraini-Thai relations in various sectors. They expressed pleasure in their visits to Bahrain Bahrain and the meetings they held that will achieve further growth in Bahraini-Thai relations, hailing the kingdom's progress in various fields.
The Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs held its periodic meeting under the chairmanship of the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs, Jawad bin Salim al Arayid. In the presence of ministers and committee members, the committee reviewed the topics and memoranda listed on its agenda, which included a number of draft laws and decisions prepared by the committee at the request of the government and took the necessary recommendations in preparation for submission to the cabinet. The committee also reviewed a number of draft laws prepared on the basis of proposals submitted by the legislative authority after drafting the legal texts of these draft laws from the Legislative and Legal Opinion Commission. The committee examined a number of proposals submitted to the government by the Council of Representatives. It also prepared a draft of the government's response to these proposals on the basis of the response the committee receives from the concerned governmental bodies. The Council of Representatives has loaded the government's prompt positive response to the demands of the representative of the Bahraini people regarding the application of legal measures to protect civil and social peace. The Council also commended the measures taken by the government to deepen the spirit of tolerance and national unity, being essential to safeguarding the nation's security and stability and enhancing its landmark achievements attained during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. It praised the cabinet's assertion of keenness to enforce the law firmly against security breaches and attempts to encroach on state institutions through social media networks. It also expressed its readiness to cooperate with the government in updating the legal system to ensure the wise use of social media networks, prevent their use of inciting hatred and criminalize any violations that may undermine national security, civil peace and public order to infringe on the rights of society and its institutions in accordance with the Constitution and International Human Rights Conventions. The Under Secretary for Industrial Affairs of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Osama Mohammed Al Arayid, opened the Conference for Incubators and Business Accelerators, which was patronized by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Al Zayani, and was attended by the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh Al Saleh. The conference is organized by the Bahrain Small and Medium Enterprises Development Society with the strategic partner Timkeen over the course of two days. It features 300 business persons and featured the participation of five GCC countries participating in the conference along with the State of Palestine as a guest of honor. In a talk on behalf of the minister, Al Arayad affirmed the importance of the conference because it aggregates the experiences of various GCC countries and allows for the exchange of ideas and success stories, all of which contribute to common development priorities to these countries. Al Arayad also presented the government's strategies and priorities in this field, which brought about to the creation of the Bahrain Small and Medium Enterprises Development Society as part of its five-year plan, which will conclude in 2023. For his part, the president of the Bahrain Small and Medium Enterprises Development Society, Ahmad Al Saloum, said that the second conference has been organized for the second consecutive year, following a success for its first iteration, which featured the participation of four GCC countries and 150 business persons. And uh, if we put a lot of effort to to uh, develop the uh, entrepreneurs and the small uh, businesses. Now, having the, the, the other uh, countries from the GCC uh, joining us, it will allow us to exchange, uh, you know, uh, experiences and exchange uh, knowledge and uh, try to see what the others are doing and let the others see what we are doing. All of that in order to better uh, serve the, 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 the entrepreneur community and the small businesses. We are calling like uh, a new incubators members with the new projects. Every year we are choosing a topic. This year we are choosing the IT uh, projects or IT, uh, I mean, uh, IT business models from Bahrain, from Oman, from Kuwait, uh, from UAE and the first time from Palestine. Uh, we want to keep them all together to see where they reach, where we reach, how we can all cooperate together and to have 
a stronger economy. Today I'm honored to represent my country, Palestine, here in my second home, Bahrain, which is the regional hub for all the incubators and accelerators in the Gulf region. Uh, we've been talking to amazing people here, young leaders who are working really hard to establish their own businesses and establish their own startup to change the world around us. His Highness UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan visited yesterday the Interior Ministry as part of an invitation by his brother Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in the presence of senior Interior Ministry officials and the UAE Ambassador to Bahrain. Upon His Highness's arrival, the police band performed the UAE National Anthem. سادة زموكم في الصلاة في الطابور سيدي Then the police personnel who took part in a parade saluted while passing in front of the podium.
after that, the UAE official with the Interior Minister went to the police fort, in which he wrote a message in the visit's record, asserting the unified destiny of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE. He expressed his sincere wishes of prosperity and development to Bahrain and its leadership, government and people, and the protection of its loyal men. Senior officials of the Interior Ministry had the honor to shake hands with His Highness the Guest and the members of the UEE delegation were also honored to shake hands with the Interior Minister. The Interior Minister presented a commemorative gift to the UEE Deputy Prime Minister. During the meeting, the Interior Minister delivered a speech welcoming His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the accompanying delegation, expressing gratitude and appreciation for the visit. The Interior Minister expressed appreciation to the sacrifices and honorable stance of brothers in the UEE to protect the security of the Kingdom of Bahrain, hailing the distinguished historical ties between the two countries. He wished to visit all successes to contribute in reinforcing security cooperation in various sectors. The Interior Minister highlighted the national plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism launched recently and its initiatives that aim to achieve the goals of promoting comprehensive security. During the meeting, the Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan briefed the attendees about the security security situation in Bahrain and efforts to protect security and reinforce stability and general safety. Meanwhile, the UAE side highlighted security cooperation and coordination between the two countries. The meeting discussed various security topics of common interests to promote security cooperation and coordination and to build on the achievements of the security cooperation to enhance performance in facing security challenges and rapid regional and international changes.
the officials from both countries agreed to form a joint team in which the chief of public security will chair Bahrain's side and the interior ministry under secretary will head the UAE side. The team will work to reinforce security cooperation and coordination between the two states. The interior minister held a lunch banquet in honor of his guest. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Abdel Hussein Ali Mirza inaugurated the Inter uh, International Sustainable Energy Forum, which is organized by the Sustainable Energy Unit in partnership with Bahrain Society of Engineers and the United Nations Development Program, under the theme Promoting Sustainable Energy in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Present were a number of senior officials, ambassadors, heads of industrial companies, and government institutions and more than 500 participants. The minister praised the directives of the leadership and the government to encourage promoting the utilization of sustainable energy and work on improving energy efficiency for comprehensive development and achieving the objectives of the United Nations in sustainable development. The minister also highlighted the achievements of Bahrain in the field of sustainable energy and improving energy efficiency. He noted the national goals adopted by the government to to achieve specific rates of renewable energy and energy efficiency by 2025 and provide about 230 million dinars by the same year. Mirza pointed out that the forum focuses on two main objectives, to strengthen the information database and improve the capabilities of those concerned with the development and implementation of programs and strategies related to renewable energy and energy efficiency through the exchange of information and expertise at the local and regional levels as well as attracting investments in that field. In accordance with the directives of the political leadership in Bahrain to diversify the sources of energy by uh, uh, increasing the use of renewable energy like solar energy, uh, the Sustainable Energy Center in cooperation with the Bahrain Society of Engineers have arranged the first uh, conference and exhibition about uh, sustainable energy in the Kingdom of Bahrain. We are very impressed and very, uh, it even uh, outpaced our expectations. The large number of participants, there are about 500 participants, all the uh, booths for the exhibition all have been booked and there are people who want to book more but we don't have a space for them so for the being the first uh, conference and exhibition this shows the uh, the importance that the people of Bahrain give to renewable energy and we are delighted with that uh, the government of Bahrain realized this uh, by the cabinet approving the establishment of the Sustainable Energy Center, uh, which reports to the Minister of Electricity and Water. And this center, in cooperation with the Bahrain Society of Engineers, are arranging this uh, event. The government also established national targets. Uh, the national target for uh, renewable energy is 5% by 2025, and it increases to 10% by 2035 whilst the national target for energy efficiency is 6% by 2025. Uh, and uh, if we do that, it, it saves the government 230 million dinars a year. Uh, the reason why everybody is going to renewable energy is because uh, it's a clean energy, it's sustainable, it creates new job, the cost has come down, and also it saves the gas, which is a, a valuable natural resource which the government needs for future strategic projects. Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed Al Rumehi patronized the fifth Arab Cultural Attaché concourse under the title The Role of Media in the Educational Tools Development in the presence of the Ambassador of Kuwait to Bahrain, Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, and the Arab Cultural Attachés in the Kingdom, Sheikh Azam Mubarak Al Subah, and a number of academics. Al Rumehi asserted the developments the media and communication sector is witnessing, which makes accessing information easier. He noted that internet access burdened 
people with a joint responsibility to promote awareness in order to preserve the unity of society and consolidate its national identity. The minister stressed that the internet has contributed to the development of educational tools in various fields, noting its role in supporting various efforts to develop education. He added that media has a major role in supporting the efforts of developing education and that it must be used properly. Al Rumehi affirmed that Bahrain uses modern technology in developing education in various government sectors and experienced success in this field, which made it a model in the educational technology field.